Hello everyone, I am back with another tutorial. I just recorded this but forgot to press record so I didn't record it. I just did the tutorial without recording because I'm clever like that. So in this one I'm going to be showing you the wall pop and bin pop, mask pop, whatever you want to call it, as seen in my Rise Repulse edit. So you want to go and make a composition well just say this was your composition that you're making your montage you've got the music all the other effects everything and then you've got the music I've marked out the beats you press control 8 to create a marker and be careful because if you are select got a layer selected and press it it will go onto the layer and not onto the top of the top of the timeline this is one of the most useful things you can use, shortcuts you can use for uh, making, well, little notes where you want to, big beats of the song where you want to sync. Right, so you, first off, you want to twixter the bit. You want to make a composition three seconds because we're going to be twixtering the, what's it, the YY. So you see, he twixed. Well, in my in my in the edit, I twixted this bit here. Wait, you'll see in a sec. If you haven't seen my twix tutorial, by the way, I have one. I'll leave an annotation in the top right for anyone who hasn't seen it to go and watch it. And then after you've watched that, this will make a lot more sense. Because at the moment, I'm just going to rush through it, as this is pretty much. That's all I've already made. Right, there you go, so I've twixted it. Then you want to drag your twixted clip, which will be comp 2 for me. Depends if you're doing this in a montage or just following along with the tutorial. So you see you have the twixted clip. I wanna drag more audio oh no, I don't wanna drag more audio forwards actually. What have I done? I've gone and ruined it. No I haven't. I just drag that to there and it's all in line. Right, so I'll take that to there. Take that. So that's the beginning of a comp, just say. Oh screw it, how do I just trim the comp to work area? There we go. So there are the two beats that you want to make a wall bump pop. God, I don't know what to call it. If anyone wants to name it for me, go for it. Just leave a comment. So then you want to make a mask of the bit of the section that you want to, well, pop out at you, pop out of the screen. So for this, I'm just going to be do using the the same wall as I used in the video for this tutorial. Right, so you want to duplicate the layer that you masked and on the bottom layer you want to press M to get your masks up and then you want to delete the mask so you have the, still have the footage in the background and then on your masked layer, see I can move it around, this is the masked one you want to press S for your scale keyframes and then you want to go to the stopwatch press scale so you put keyframe down and you want to go position, press P to get your position key up and then you want to make another one so you want to move these one side one frame to the left both of them one frame to the left and then so then you've got those and then go f one frame forward to the beat where you want them to hop and then make the scale 110 and then you'll see wait that looks nothing like it that's why you need to go position and move the position so it looks in line there we go and then you see the next beat here on that marker I want to make it go back to zero scale no, 100, scales, 100 scale so it's normal then you want to copy the position well, with command C on a Mac, control C on a PC and then you want to paste it so it will go boing and then come back and then on the next beat sorry if this is like quick 
It's just a pretty simple tutorial, I think. And then you want to make another mask, actually. And then you want to delete the mask, so you have no mask, it's just a blank bit of footage. And then you want to mask out the bin. If any of this doesn't make sense to anyone, just leave a comment. And I will answer, as I answer every question I get. Because I'm just so kind to everyone. Actually, I'm not. I am just have no life. And I'm bored. Oh. Right, so then you've got the bin mask that's solo that. And then there you can see I have the bin. So then you want to go frame backwards, like you did on the previous one. Hit scale. Let's take off solo you so you can see everything. Make a scale keyframe. Delete all the keyframes that you will previously have had from the other mask. And then you want to hit one for scale. Hit one for position. So you have each position and scale masked. Masked. Stop watched. So then you want to scale it up. 110. Like you did with the last one. Change the position. Hit P. Just going to close the door so no one can hear me. Don't think I'm talking to myself. And then you want to roughly align it. And then you want to go forwards a few frames again. Copy the last position. And then paste it. And then go back to scale, change it to 100. So there, it'll, the, the first wall will pop out, then the bin will pop out. Now I'll round preview that for you. Sorry if this hasn't made much sense. Or my speech is awful. I was a bit quick. You can mess with the keyframes. Say if you want it to be quicker, you you know, if you want it to be slower, you take the position and then press S to get the scale up and then you take the scale keyframe, take both keyframes, drag them further away from your other two. Now round preview it again. And you'll see it's longer. The longer you do it, the longer it will take. So I want up there. It's gonna take even longer to go back down. So it's a simple tutorial, leave in the description what tutorial you want to see next. Yeah, that's about it. In the top right, I'm going to leave an annotation for my next tutorial when it's uploaded. Top left of the screen, there'll be an annotation for my previous tutorial, just in case you're a new guy watching my tutorials and you want to watch them all. I'll make it easy for you. Plus, what was I going to say? Uh, yeah, what tutorial you want to see next? Description, comment, like, favourite, whatever. Just, yeah. I will see you guys soonio. Apparently I've been recording for 89,829 hours, 17 minutes. That is a lie. But, yeah, I'll, <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.